It's April 20th. Um, let's see what time is it? 8.40 a.m. I'm coming into the WMA right now. Got in last night, spent the night at the campground. Uh, for those of you that don't know my plan um, I found them here I don't have to hunt anymore um, got lucky because this was the first place I looked um, gonna go in without my camera now um, because I want them to come to me um, not expecting them to come to me right now but eventually I think they will um, this is like the seventh or eighth time I've been out here doing this. Um, my plan is to to talk them into coming out, coming out and talk to me, um, learn from them. Explain to them the situation with humans not knowing that they're here. Um, also explain to them that if humans find out that they're here, that they will, or we might convince them to uh, us humans to stop tearing down organs. their their home stop stop uh, cutting down the forests this much. You know, because we can rely on different things to build from. Um, we can cut back on the paper. So, cutting down their forest is a You know, not much of a necessity as it used to be. Um, I think they're intelligent enough to um, understand me. Um, how, I'm not quite sure. But, you know, with the abilities that people say that they have, um, you know, there's got to be some intelligence there. Um, I 
I know that they're not hostile. I mean, just like us, there's there's uh, people out there that are hostile. They they'll attack you just for looking at them wrong, and I'm sure there's Bigfoot out there that are the same way. Uh, probably not as many. Um, percentage of them that would do it much lower than the percentage of us. So, I'm expecting that eventually if I can get out here enough that uh, they will come they will show themselves they will come talk to me well they may talk to me without showing themselves at first that's what I'm I'm expecting um, not expecting that to happen today but eventually This is a public hunting land. Um, over 10,000 acres just in this south side of it. Um, much of it impassable by, by humans. So they've got a lot of place to to hide, they can get away from us easy. They hear us coming down the road. You know, they can start heading off and be out of sight before we get here. See a lot of the water still here. Looks like a little lake over here to my left. I'm expecting to have uh, a little bit of water where I'm going. I'm going to an area that is, uh, I think, where they spend a lot of their daytime. Or at least I know they do some hunting in the morning about this time. Because uh, when I was here in August, I had one growl at me when I scared off his pig. pig ran off before it got to him and that pretty much surprised me I wish I had my camera going at the time but I, I didn't um, he may not have growled if I had had the camera I don't know I'm about three quarters of the way there. It's about three miles down this road. But eventually I'm expecting some type of reaction from him. Um, I'd like to have that today. certainly imagine them telling me to leave them alone and go on my own way. They're used to people being here though. Um, I don't have to walk very far into the woods to, to go where I'm getting to or to get to where I'm going to. Still a lot of water.
and there's somebody at the end of the road. Looks like one of the staff trucks. I think. Uh, maybe not. cooler in the back. Anyway, I'm here. Gonna turn the camera off. And I'll see if I can get some type of reaction today. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit.